breaking everything but the news. It's the Spartan News 18. Spartan News 18. Hey Spartans, welcome to term three. Can you believe that the school year is halfway done? We are excited to give you more information on our hybrid model. Yesterday, you should have received information from the high school about our special hybrid transition schedule, as well as our student hybrid safety handbook. Be sure to look them over, and if you have any questions, please feel free to, re feel free to reach out to one of us or to student services. Mr. Finstead, got a good dad joke for us today? Well, it's not a joke really, it's some information for you. I okay. know you guys all wonder where do I get my jokes from? Where do I get my dad jokes from? You get from a database. Sarah? Anything? <laughs> database. Yeah, dad, yeah, dad. Database. Yeah, database. I've never heard of that. Hey, seniors. You might think your opportunity to vote has passed, but it hasn't. There are two elections this spring that include both local and state offices, including our own McFarland School Board. These elections don't get as much attention as presidential and congressional elections, but that makes your voice even more important. The 2019 McFarland Village President election was decided by only one vote. Can you believe that? It was crazy. So, the spring primary election is on February 16th, and the spring general election is on April 6th. As always, if you are a U.S. citizen and are 18 by those election dates, you are eligible to vote. If you didn't already register to vote in the fall, you'll need to do, th to do that now, and the place to go to register and for most election information is myvote.com wi.gov. In addition to completing your registration there, you can also request an absentee, which is a vote by mail ballot, and see what races are coming up. Check to see where to vote if you are going to vote in person and more. There are some deadlines for things like registering online and requesting a mail ballot, but you can also register and vote on the day of the election. So it's not too late until the election day has passed. Many of us talk about making our voice heard. Voting isn't the only way to do that, but it's an important opportunity to make, so be sure your public officials represent you. And now let's go to Ms. Thompson for a special announcement about youth apprenticeship. Hi, I'm Ms. Thompson, and I am the school career coordinator at the high school, and I wanted to take a little bit of time today to share some information with you about a program that I work closely with, which is our Youth Apprenticeship Program. The Youth Apprenticeship Program is actually a statewide program, and we work specifically with Dane County, and then I am the local coordinator for that. Youth Apprenticeship is something that you can be enrolled in for your junior and or senior year. And in that program, you have an opportunity to explore a career that is an industry demanded um, area of growth in Wisconsin and have a chance to work, get a paycheck, get credit, and also probably get some time off of school so that you have more available time to balance your school and your work life. So I'm gonna show you where there is a bunch of information put together because those that are interested in youth apprenticeship for the 2021 or 22 school year, uh, this is the time that applications are coming up because they are due at the end of the month. So I just want to share with you where I have housed a lot of information for you. So if you go to the high school um, website and you click on academic and career planning, you'll notice that there is also a special link here for youth apprenticeship. There is some general youth apprenticeship stuff as you're going down, but this highlighted stuff is the stuff that's coming up now that you wanna take advantage of uh, finding and doing. So we have those family info nights. So this is for you and parents and guardians to join in to get some more information about the program. Like most of life right now, it's in a Zoom format. So you do need to register in order to have the Zoom link sent to you. And here are the three different dates of those family info nights. The application process, as I mentioned, everything is going to be due by February 26th. And this, there is everything you need here. So again, you can start off by having um, an appointment with me discussing the areas of interest that you may have. 
Like I said, the general information is down here so that you can explore. These will take you all to our Dane County site and you can find out a little bit more about each of those areas. General slide overview also there. And then, like I said, links to all of the different forms that need to be completed as part of that. Sometimes this process can feel a little bit overwhelming. So one of the things that I've done this year, just because knowing it's going to be harder um, to meet in person, even those of you that are coming back in for the hybrid uh, teaching, um, there are some Zoom drop-ins. So this is probably the best way to have help with the application process and um, with me. So you can go into the Zoom drop-ins. I have several different dates um, and times set up and you can work on the entire application or you can pop in and just ask a couple of questions and then work independently. It's just an open time where I'm making myself available and I try to give some early evening time too so if parents have some questions and so forth that we can work through them. Again, don't be afraid to schedule an appointment with me. You can um, find that link like I showed you just now about how to schedule an appointment. Otherwise, if you go to the student services page and go down to Ms. Thompson, same place that you would schedule a meeting with one of your counselors. Um, and then I'd be happy um, to connect with you over a Zoom call. Please let me know how I can help and look forward to hearing from those of you that are interested in youth apprenticeship. Well, Spartans, that's it for this week. I'm so looking forward to start meeting with you all, and I know that Ms. Nichols and Ms. Busalaki echo my excitement. Have a great week. Bye.